What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing you another video. In today's video, I'm going to be referencing and elaborating more on the previous video we covered. It was a translated interview with Kitase and Hamaguchi about the development of Final Fantasy VII Remake. In this video, we're going to be talking about the potential directions that Square Enix can take in regards to their open world, overworld, or world map, whatever you want to call it. There are lots of things they can do, but due to their past, we all know open worlds really aren't their strong suit. So in this interview, they were also asked some small questions about Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2, and they gave us some very vague answers. One of the biggest takeaways from this video, judging from the insane amount of comments, was about the potential for there being no open world or any overworld within Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 and going forward. I want to talk about this and also clear the air about what I want for Final Fantasy VII Remake's open world as well. So without further ado, Let's get into this video. In the previous video, the interviewer asked Kitase and Hamaguchi about Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hamaguchi said that Remake was more linear and did not feature an open world because they felt that as long as there was a strong narrative pushing the story forward, that that was the most important achievement for them. This was specifically about Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1. Hamaguchi was not saying this will be the case for Remake Part 2 and future iterations of Remake. He was asked a question about Part 1, and he answered that question in regards to Remake Part 1 specifically. After that, the interviewer adds that Final Fantasy XIII had a lot of set pathways, but during the later half of the game, it opens up to a large field map, and he really enjoyed that aspect about it, and he hopes something like that happens for Remake Part 2. Hamaguchi says, I'll take note of that. After that, I said in that video, I really hope they don't wait until the end of Remake Part 2 to introduce us to the overworld of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I want to clarify, for Final Fantasy VII Remake, I don't think it will be an open world like Final Fantasy XV, nor is that what I want. What I want them to do with Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 is to have an overworld, but segmented with zones and unique pathways very similar to what Dragon Quest XI and Final Fantasy XIV, as well as Final Fantasy XII, has implemented. Square made those games and those worlds were done very, very well and fit the medium perfectly. Plus, the original Final Fantasy VII game had a very similar situation with its open world. It was one big zone where you could backtrack and visit previous areas, essentially giving the feeling of an open world, but not really until you get the high wind. This is exactly what Dragon Quest XI and Final Fantasy XIV nails down perfectly, in my opinion. For Final Fantasy XIV, there is a balance that they had, and due to that, they were able to focus more on the content aspect of the game, and did not really have to do much with the zones and the open world aspect of the game. And overall, it made it a force to be reckoned with on the MMO market dethroning World of Warcraft of all games, which is a notorious open world experience. Especially after its horrible initial start that led to A Realm Reborn with Final Fantasy XIV. Square took a shot at making an open world with Final Fantasy XV, and unfortunately, while it may have been the best aspect about that game for many people, after a while it started to feel very empty, barren, and sort of boring. The side quests lacked variety, and there was only one big major town, and everything was insanely spread far apart. If they went ahead and did this for a remake, it very well could work out, but they'd really have to fine-tune all their elements that they use in Final Fantasy XV to expand it even more. Giving the world a more living, breathing feeling which Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1 does very well. They do this by making the NPC's dialogue outrageous compared to any other game before it and any other game that I've seen before it. But of course, the hallways and PS2 level design keep the game linear in Midgar for Remake Part 1, but that was their intention all along. Now, putting that effort into the world content is great, but I personally don't trust them to do this. I think that Dragon Quest XI zones fit that game perfectly and can work really well with Final Fantasy VII Remake Part II going forward. Given that they expand on it a little bit more, the attention to detail and remake blended with zones for their overworld could work out very well together. I think this is something Square really should follow through with. Plus, with zones, we could always backtrack to the previous town we just left and visit it to make it feel as if the world is open in that sense. This is all we the players want, really. To be able to walk across a world map going from town to town, battling enemies, finding treasure, and all kinds of different things. Not have a sandbox filled with fetch quests, empty locations, and all that stuff. Final Fantasy VII Original had a lot of small towns nearby each other, and large ones as well, so I don't think it will ever feel the way that Final Fantasy XV did in that sense of being empty. But I still would rather them focus their efforts into something else like refining the parts of gameplay that need it. Looking at you, Aerial Combat, Hamaguchi also said in that interview that only 24% of people that watch and love these videos are currently subscribed. Guys, that PlayStation 5 giveaway is coming to an end next week. Don't miss out on a chance to win it because you were not subscribed. Make sure you click the Gleam link in the comments 
comments below and get your entries in there. The support on this channel over the last few months has been something I never would have imagined coming so soon. I'm forever grateful and thankful for each and every single one of you guys, really and truly. So I'm happy to be giving away this PlayStation 5 to some lucky subscriber out there. Being a paid member also gets you more entries into the giveaway, so don't miss out and maximize your chances, guys. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss out any updates on that. Personally, for me, with Remake Part 1, Midgar being more explorable would be very cool, but it wasn't. And for the most part, it was kept along the same lines as the original Final Fantasy game's maneuverability, with Midgar being linear, probably due to the development cycle being cut and delayed once each. And I imagine their budget for anything of the sort was shot and they had to make do with it. But as Hamaguchi said, their plan was to have a strong story-driven game and to be honest, it really worked and made me forget all about trying to explore the other parts of Midgar. Now with Remake Part 2 having a full development cycle and assets from Remake Part 1 being able to be reused such as character models, combat, the HUD, and other things as well, this could help them out a lot with developing Part 2 and bringing those other elements we like into the fold. I really think that the way that Dragon Quest XI does their open world could work very well for Remake Part 2. It's broken up into zones with different paths, taking us to different screens, and of course it has enemies all along the way. There are areas to explore and somewhat hidden paths too, but I imagine with Remake they could take it a step further since they love their attention to detail in the way that they do it. Final Fantasy XIV also does zones for their worlds, and considering that it's an MMO, you would think that since World of Warcraft has an open world, maybe it wouldn't work so well. But Final Fantasy XIV works very, very well with its zones and it's an enjoyable aspect of the game. Once you get used to Ethernet crystals for teleporting and how to navigate the map the first time around, because holy shit, Final Fantasy XIV's map initially is very confusing to look at. Final Fantasy XII, I have not played myself, but I've heard very interesting things about how they do their open world. It's essentially made up of zones too. We also just might be playing Final Fantasy XII very soon on stream as we go through Final Fantasies 6, 8, 9, 10, Tactics, and 12. So hit that notification bell if you want to see me go through those games. I played 6, 9, and 10, but I've never beaten them. I've beaten 8, but it's been a very long time since then, and I've been in the old school RPG mood since we beat Xenogears recently. But my point is, Square has had success with these zoned off worlds and made them feel great to maneuver around. But with open worlds, they really dropped the ball. I think it would be best for all of us players and the developers themselves if they just stuck with what they know and put their efforts into a zone-based overworld. This is what I meant in the previous video about them creating an open world. I wish I elaborated more on that for you guys in the last video, so I hope this better explains it for you all. So what do you guys think about the open world situation for Remake Part 2? How would you guys like them to do it? What are some unique things that you guys would add to the overworld to make it different or feel a little bit more fresh from other games? I love discussing these things with you all. These last few videos comments have been absolutely amazing chatting with you all. I know a lot of you guys don't mind the overworld being in Remake Part 2 or not. I'm all for whatever they decide to do because I'm really into the story and the characters of this world. I can't wait to see where they take it. Final Fantasy VII Remake is an official sequel to the original Final Fantasy VII game we all know and love. And I think this is great news because we're about to get even more content and media surrounding this world and characters that we love over the next couple of years consistently. We're about to have the world of Final Fantasy VII and its compilation expanded and bigger than ever. And that wraps it up for this video, guys. Final Fantasy VII Remake Part II is still in heavy development, but as more news comes out, I got you guys' back with that information. Speaking of more information, February 13th, Kitase will be doing a video presentation during the Final Fantasy VII Orchestra event. Now, what could this information be? I have no clue. But this very well could be information on the Remake Part 1 Definitive Edition. Remember, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1's hard copies came with a sticker that said PlayStation exclusivity ends April 10th, 2021. So that's very soon. I'm expecting us to hear an announcement about the Xbox, PC, and even PlayStation 5 versions of the game. Also, with Kingdom Hearts 3, they had an orchestra event as well, and during that same event, there was a video trailer showcasing and announcing the upcoming DLC to be released for it, Remind. So I think that Square could follow that same trend and do a definitive edition trailer with Final Fantasy VII Remake during the orchestra event. We've already talked plenty about what we hope to expect this version brings to the game, from 60 frames per second to texture fixes, and of course Tifa and other character DLC missions. But if you haven't yet, feel free to go back and check through our videos to see those remake definitive changes for yourself. And guys, next week my birthday is coming up and we're going to be doing a special birthday live stream, so do not miss out on that. Wednesday, February 10th at 8pm Eastern Time. When the clock strikes 12am, February 11th will be here and that's my birthday. We'll be playing Among Us, Final Fantasy VII Original and Final Fantasy VII 
remake. So don't miss out and drop by to hang out with us so you guys can participate in some games and we basically just have a chill night. You know what I'm saying? From the bottom of my heart, thank you everyone for all of this. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Final Fantasy 7 Remake videos are coming your way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.